What if I told you guys that uh, I got inspired by a fellow YouTuber to make immersive content and I'm so glad I did because this looks absolutely insane in Star Citizen. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I watch a YouTuber called Jack Frags. He does a lot of FPS stuff. He also does uh, some Star Citizen stuff from time to time. Um, but he's been running like a mini series, I, I guess, of playing games widescreen. Uh, so it's very cinematic for YouTube. And also it puts to use, you know, your big widescreen monitor. Because usually what I do is I play in windowed mode with my recording software off to one side. And if I'm live streaming, chat off to the other. Um, so I, I normally don't play widescreen. And actually with Star Citizen, I've never played with widescreen. But this, oh man, this just looks incredible. I don't know if it's going to come through on YouTube. You guys will have to let me know what it looks like. I'm just trying to find a nice spot to land here. I just got to get out and have a little look around. But there's something about playing in widescreen. Oh, there we go. Nice job, Ollie. Good job. <laughs> it was looking so good up until I tried to land. Hang on, I need to kind of... In fairness, it's not very even ground around here. Uh, there we go. If I tilt back a bit. There we go. Seriously. Holy, that looks incredible to me. Like I say, I don't know how this looks to you. <laughs> but that looks absolutely amazing. Wow. Okay, so, yeah, I should probably explain what's going on. So, yeah, I got inspired by this YouTube video. Jack Frags. I'll, I'll link to a couple of his videos in the description if you're interested. He's a really cool guy. I've actually met him a few times. And uh, he's super, super nice and friendly. So, um, definitely check out his channel if you've never watched his videos before. Um, but yeah, I thought, hey, that would be such a cool idea in Star Citizen. And I've got a widescreen monitor. So, why don't I just give it a go and see what it looks like? And even <laughs> walking around my ship, if I wasn't already impressed just looks so impressive like I, I don't know why it's so much more impressive because you're not really seeing that much more of the game but I guess it's the whole cinematic thing you know all right let's um get out of the ship here but yeah I'd be curious how many of you guys let me know in the chat I do have a helmet don't I yes how many of you guys have wanted or are looking at getting a widescreen monitor because they're pretty common now oh my word this looks insane um, but they are really expensive. Um, the one I got is quite a few years old now. It's not top of the line or anything. Um, and like I say, I bought it because for live streaming and stuff, it's super useful. Because uh, you don't have to have two monitors. <laughs> oh my word. That just took my breath away a little bit. That looks insane. What the heck? Star Citizen. Oh my word. That looks crazy good. Oh my god. I mean, this game's a um, screenshot simulator anyway, but holy... Wow. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, this... Uh, the widescreen monitor thing, I don't like having two, because one, it always looks a little bit messy, and if I can keep things all on one monitor, I'm happy. So I decided to get the widescreen monitor to, uh, you know, have... <laughs> that looks so good! Holy what uh to have chat on one side recording software on the other and then the game in a window in the middle that's usually how I, I play video games but i really need to start playing video games like this because it looks so cool let me know in the comment section if like the youtube video is as cinematic as i'm saying it might not look that impressive to you but for me right now it it really really is super immersive it's quite impressive um one thing i realized by the way is i think i've got broken legs <laughs> just casually mention it because i can't sprint anywhere and it doesn't matter how much i mouse wheel i'm not going any any faster so what look at that insane uh i thought we'd do a little bit of exploring also where's the rest of what the, that doesn't look right is this broken now top deck Hmm. Well. Um. 
I thought we'd go to area 18 and walk around there and maybe microtech, maybe do an outpost or something. Just really explore the game in this super immersive way. But yeah, so far, so good. I think this looks incredible. Oh, that's so bright. Holy. Oh, even the doors, even walking through here seems way more immersive than usual. Like, this is a pretty cool game anyway, but like I say, this just, just transforming it to the next level. Oh, man. And like, sitting, for example, in this position, I can see so much more. You know, I got the field of view and it's just, like I say, it's just way more immersive. <laughs> Look at that. Someone tell me another game that provides this level of immersion because I'm not sure it exists. Okay, so the plan is, what we're going to do today is we're going to head over to Art Corp. I'm going to get my legs fixed up in the hospital there. And then we're going to walk around the city, check that out, see how immersive that is. And then we'll head over to Microtech uh, and do a outpost because they're pretty cool and I really enjoy the outposts. Also, I don't know if this is the case. Let me know in the comment section if this is, if I'm just being crazy or whatever. But I swear they've updated the textures to these planets. Because I swear these used to be really blurry. Maybe it's just me. Maybe they've always looked like this. But recently, they look different to me. <laughs> so I don't know if that's... I don't know if I'm just, like I say, going crazy or it is actually different. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> right, I'll meet you at Art Corp. Wow. <laughs> I know I'm only in Quantum right now, but even something as simple as this, like... It just looks so cool. <laughs> Usually quantum looks kind of average, but man. All right, Art Corp, here we go. Honestly, if uh, I know I've said it a lot over the past like couple of months actually, but I'm actually genuinely planning on doing a setup video very, very soon. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe for that. I've got my setup now in a place where I think it's ready to be shown to you guys um so yeah if you're excited about that definitely hit the subscribe button and um if there's something specific you want to see or for me to talk about let me know in the comment section and i'll make sure i cover it once we once the um video goes live i'll uh i'll keep it in mind so yeah pretty cool stuff and i'll finally make a setup video i keep talking about it and not doing it but i promise i'm working on it Okay, here it is, Area 18. Man, this looks cool. <laughs> oh, it's just such a big, huge place. You are so cool. Right, we better phone air traffic control. Give us a spot, please. please proceed to landing bay. Whoa, that... <laughs> That's cool. Right, landing gear. Look at this. Got all the cargo containers there. It's awesome. The big, big neon signs. All just adds to it, doesn't it? Can we do a decent landing here? Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's, that's nice. I'm going to try and go up a little bit just so I don't have to walk as far. That's actually quite a big hangar, this one. Right, let's just leave it in the middle because I'm assuming it's that end, but if it's gonna if it's the other end. No, I did it again. <laughs> Have a pleasant stay. There we go. Whoa, that looked crazy. Alright, let's go and get my legs fixed. I've never noticed this before, but can you literally go to either end? <laughs> this hangar is massive. You know it's a big hangar when it m literally makes the A2 look small? Wow. Oh, that. Okay. 
That does look quite quite cool right there. Like all the steam coming out of the grates and stuff. Oh man. That looks good. Uh here we go. Good old area 18, eh? Can't go wrong with a bit of area 18. Oh, it's so immersive. I mean, this walking slow is kind of working out for, like, immersion. <laughs> it kind of looks like an E3 trailer or something. But, yeah, I do miss walking fast, so <laughs> I could really use that hospital bed right now. Oh, man. Forty-three, huh? Interesting. <laughs> oh man! Look at that! What? I've seen it a million times, but immersion. The immersion. I don't know. Give me an immersion rating out of ten. It'd be kind of interesting to see what you guys think. If I'm just being kind of ridiculous or this does kind of look like an E3 trailer. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know when they walk slow and they're just kind of taking in everything? Oh, I'm going to get my legs fixed, boys. Right. Well, okay. Can I run now? Hey, look at me go. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. I mean, AI, computer. That's a scary future. <laughs> you just fixed with AI rather than an actual doctor. Right. Let's head over to uh, Microtech and uh, yeah. Got my favorite paint on here right now. Uh, the Meridian, I think it's called, uh, or as I like to call it, Chrome Edition. Uh, it's kind of like this Mandalorian vibe, and I absolutely love it. Apart from CIG, I'm calling you out here. What is this? Why is this white? Did, did you just forget to paint a section? It's very triggering. Please, someone fix that. I would much appreciate it. It'd be kind of cool if I stepped in that oil and then I put black oil all over my <laughs> pretty ship. That'd be kind of cool. Be a nice touch. But that's not a priority. Do the paint first. There we go. Look at... Oh, man. This looks so good. It's criminal. All right, guys. I'll uh, catch you at old Microtech. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll do a quick couple of missions and see how that looks. Well, that right there is a moment. Like, seriously. What the heck, bro? Bro! <laughs> that looks so good. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let's pick a mission. Uh, let's do one of the new ones. Is it like Retrieval Op? I can't remember. Yeah, on an outpost. Cool. All right, sweet. Nice. It's in daylight as well. My favorite. And I don't know what's going on with my UI right now. Oh, I'm just gonna have to fly there. Okay. What? Okay. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at that chrome. Everyone loves the chrome. Tell me this doesn't look good, chat. I, you just can't, can you? Because we all know Apart from the little white section that CIG need to fix. That looks incredible. Absolutely delightful. So one thing I'm actually hoping for is... Like, what's meant to happen when you go to these outposts is... You're meant to actually fight enemies. But I've never actually faced enemies at one of these outposts. Because they didn't spawn in. But I know uh, Star Citizen has been deploying updates without like a client update which is really cool actually um, but 
So I'm hoping we get some action here and it's a little bit more engaging than just kind of... I mean, to be fair, searching an outpost is pretty fun. But, you know, what's more fun? Shooting some dudes. So, yeah. <laughs> that would be sweet. Look at there's a mountain to my left. Oh, but jeez. <laughs> oh, it's windy down here. Really see the wind cutting across. That looks so cool. Absolutely love it. Landing gear. Can I actually shoot them from here? That would be actually legit if I could do that. Oh, I can't see a thing. Hang on. Is there any dudes here? Hmm. I can't see any dudes. Oh my word, it is impossible to see. Can I see? Nope. I can kind of see what's going on. They said it would be immersive. I'm just going to try and land. I can't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. There we go. Okay. It's just the storm, for whatever reason, looks absolutely impenetrable from that angle. From this angle, it's not too bad. So hopefully it dies down a bit. But let's have a little gander. I actually quite like the fact I've done this before. Because you, you guys can go back and see one of my previous videos and compare. I mean, there's not much immersion when it's just literally white. This looks cool. By the way, I absolutely love being able to look at the gun this closely. Like, in all the details. There's a carbon fiber there. <laughs> That's so neat. Oh, I can look at my own shoulder. Weird. Right. Uh, let's do this. I don't think there's any guys here, but I'm going to assume there might be. Hmm. Oh my word. <laughs> Can I even s uh, So stormy. I can't run. I, I, I love the fact that I spent all that time going to the hospital. So I could just not run here. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. Yeah, whenever I get a break in the wind, I, it lets me run, which is so interesting. Scatter out for people. There might also be some pretty good loot here. In the past, I've found some nice treasure. Which is kind of cool. Whoa. Immersion. Total immersion. Can I get up there? That looks like it's kind of important. Oh, I think I remember this. Can you just like grab that from here or something? No. It would be so nice if the storm just let up for like five minutes. It really would. <laughs> I guess we're not getting that. I mean, it looks like it might be laying up. It's hard to tell, isn't it? I know the package is over there. I'm just kind of looking around, hoping and praying for some, like a loot box or something. Make it worth our trek. Because honestly, it's not much money you get for this. Oh, There's a ladder here. Nice. Anything up here? Yeah, so there's no guys up here, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Am I stuck up here now? Ouch. Nothing up here. Okay. 
All right, let's just grab the package. It's obviously nothing here, right? This is a, which is a crying shame. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the middle, you see you've got a little flag. That's a little flare item from the subscriber perk stuff. And, uh, you know what I think would be really cool? Is if you do certain missions, there's, like, the option at the end of the mission to earn loot that gives you a little bobblehead or something that is, like, reminds you of that mission. So you can then line your ship with just cool memorabilia from missions you've done. I think that would be really sweet. Also, I don't know why my UI... Oh, there we go. It's working again. You see that? It was all blurry for a second. But this is so cool. I just... Hang on. I just want to... want to stop for a second and just soak in this atmosphere. <laughs> so impressive. Right. So this is where we've got to deliver a package quickly. And then I'll hopefully do another one. There we go. Nice. All right. Cool. All right, guys, this is pretty neat. So I decided to swap ships here and go for the Cutlass Steel. And I thought this might be quite fun because uh, if you've never seen it before, it's actually got turrets on the side. And I kind of want to just check them out and see how they do. If there are, in fact, some bogeys. So uh, let's just have a little look here. Have a little. Oh, it, it, honestly, this is... This looks absolutely awesome. But yeah, hopefully I can just kind of like do this. I actually don't know if there's anyone around. But I'm pretty sure what I can do. Do that, right? And then do this. <laughs> I'm hoping this works, by the way. Why, why, why are we jolting around? Hmm. Do I don't know if I trust that. <laughs> Let me just land. Oh, it's such a shame. It shouldn't be doing that. Maybe it's because the servers are a little bit, like, balked right now. I should be able to just leave the ship, but... I'm not even sure if there's anyone here anyway. Oh, man! I thought that'd be cool. I can still, I can still have a little, little go. But my plan was to kind of, you know, <laughs> uh, look out the side and uh, do the ra -ta 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 -ta. That's the technical term. Which side is it? This side. Yeah, it's a really cool dropship. Look at this. Cannons for days. And then you can kind of grip this and have a little... I don't know if there's actually anyone there or not. <laughs> But it looked cool. <laughs> the other thing I could do, I suppose, is uh, use my sniper. Not, I mean, it's not a big scope, but... Uh, there is someone up there. Got him! Hmm. Let's get a little bit closer. Look at this, though. Oh, my word. This is... <laughs> this looks awesome, by the way. I absolutely love being able to look at my gun like that. I think I already said that, but... There is a guy up there. I can see him. A zap a zap. This is cool. This is the first time I've actually seen uh, enemies at an outpost. I don't actually have much ammo here. Hopefully it was just like the one guy, you know. There's the package we want. Now I'm looking for some other enemies. I'm assuming they'll be like... Three or four? Not 100% though. Hmm. It'd be nice to get some loot as well. Tell you what I could do. I could climb up here and uh, scout if anyone else is around. This is when he's actually still alive and he pops me. Are you dead? 
He's still holding on to his gun, his gun, which is a little bit worrying. Uh, and I can't see a thing. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. There's a guy. I seem to have wound them up a little bit. He's gone. Oh my goodness me. Hello. This sniper should do more damage. It's such a big sound. Cool. All right. Now I guess we can loot. I'm assuming that's uh, everyone. There may be more. Keep your head in a swivel. But now I c it's quite nice actually because I can actually look around properly. You know, <laughs> some good opportunity. Oh, there's another ship here. Interesting. Large container. Oh, that's cool. Friendly. I don't think he's actually seen me. I really wish I had a railgun right now because I would absolutely blow him up. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, shoot. He may have seen me. <laughs> Imagine if I could shoot through the glass here. That would be so cool. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm hoping. He's not planning on like... Okay, he's actually just shooting at me. What the heck? I think I think now I've upset him. I don't have anything to heal me either, which really sucks. Oh my god, I do. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? I'm absolutely going to kill this guy. Absolutely. There's no way I'm letting this guy get away with this. He's shooting me on my own little mission. I'm absolutely killing this guy.
but I'm absolutely killing him. <laughs> There's no way. I'm not. I'm. You absolutely die, my man. Son of a... I'll teach you a lesson. I don't care how sorry you are. You don't shoot me down. <laughs> that don't happen. Right, okay. So now I can land and actually do my mission, right? Right, can I get my package now? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, okay, I need to grab my... That was lucky I had those healables. It really was. We haven't got long, actually. The sun's about to set, which is kind of cool, but also uh, a little bit worrying. Sometimes you can just look at it and, like, your character will leap. Not with this, I guess. What the... You see what I'm talking about? Like, what was that? How was that possible right there? Uh, let's loot this guy. Open up. I should definitely grab a med pen. Another med pen. <laughs> right. These just say sit, which is super annoying. <laughs> yes! And a loot box. Nice. What's in here? Uh. Ah, oh, there's a mining attachment. <sighs> you troll. Uh, right. Let's stack up some of these. All right, cool. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to put it down here. And just so you guys are aware, there is a way. How did I do it? I'm not going to... It's not going to let me do it now, is it? I was basically looking up, pressing jump, and it then... I stand on hit. Oh, what the... Oh, okay, you just climb up on that bit. Got it, okay. Ah, oh, you can climb up here as well. Alright, it's not... It's not very obvious, genuinely, so... They need to do a better job of making that obvious. Uh, in my opinion. But, if you're wondering, you climb up on this thing, and you climb up on that bit there. Okay, it's pretty consistent. Like, once you know, it's not too bad, but... Yeah, they need to work on... Like, maybe put yellow ink on there or something, you know, something really video gamey. But in terms of how <laughs> Im immersive this thing is, it's very immersive. It's very cool. Look at that sunset. Oh, beautiful. Can I have a little walk? Wait, did I miss a... I de okay. I definitely missed a loot box here. I'm so glad I checked. Ooh. Nice. That's really funny. Does it have anything in it? Gadget. Uh, I'm not sure. But that's sweet. I can't believe I missed that box earlier. I don't know if you guys saw that or I edited it out or whatever, but I definitely came through here at one point. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I've had quite a lot of 30Ks today. I think I've had five. And uh, along with the stuttering in the ship there, that kind of ruined my cool moment. Uh, it's been hard work today. So if you enjoyed the video, definitely drop a like. But I'm going to go drop this off. And um, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.